And now I would like to introduce our first two speakers. Those of you who remember my late mo mother, Faith Abbott McFadden, knew that she would really take to certain people and sort of take them under her wing. Dawn Eden Goldstein is such a person. My mom met Dawn and became very fond of her. And it was here at this dinner in 2006, I believe, that Dawn first met Father Francis Canavan, a dear friend of the Human Life Review and someone who would pay a cru play a crucial role in Dawn's life, as she will explain. After Dawn, we will have our chairman of the board, Jim McLaughlin, who will speak a bit about the Human Life Foundation, who we are and what we do. Dawn? Well, what a joy and an honor it is to be here with you tonight and to be here with our guest of honor, Carly Fiorina, and to be here at this same event that truly changed the course of my life when I came to this event 11 years ago, where thanks to Faith McFadden, I met Father Francis Canavan S.J. Uh, Francis Canavan was born October 27th, 1917. So we are gathered here tonight on the eve of what, uh, 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 of what is the 100th anniversary of his birth. He entered the Society of Jesus in 1939. In 1957, he received his doctorate in political science at Duke University, and he had a long academic career, most notably at Fordham University, where he taught for 22 years before being made professor emeritus in 1988. Father Canavan was a prominent scholar of Edmund Burke, and he was an essayist whose thoughts on faith, politics, and culture earned him accolades from many of the leading Catholic minds of his time. Uh, but the impact of Father Canavan's writings extended well beyond academia. For more than 25 years, he contributed to a newsletter that many of you may remember, Catholic Eye. It was published uh, by the parent uh, nonprofit of the Human Life Review. And in writing commentaries for the Catholic Eye, Father Canavan uh, made his wisdom accessible to the ordinary person in the pew. Well, at the time I met Father Canavan, I had read his columns for Catholic Eye. And uh, Father Canavan became a, a mentor for uh, t to me. Now, there are two things that you'll find in my bio. Uh, number one is that I have written books most recently on healing from childhood sexual abuse and also a book more generally on healing of memories. That's my piece I give you and the other one, Remembering God's Mercy. And the other thing is that I was the first woman to obtain a doctorate in sacred theology from the University of St. Mary, uh, Mary of the Lake, Mundelein Seminary, and I'm now an assistant professor of sacred theology at Holy Apostles College and Seminary in Cromwell, Connecticut. Well, I'm here to tell you tonight that even though, yes, it was, it, 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 it was I who wrote those books, and it was I who studied hard and received the, my doctorate summa cum, cum laude at the age of, thank you, at the, at the age of 48. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, even though it was, it was me, it was this encounter with Father Canavan and the mentorship that he gave me that enabled that. At the time that I met Father Canavan, I was working for the New York Daily News. I was a, a, con a, a fairly recent convert to Catholicism from Judaism, and I was 
uh, best known as a former rock and roll historian who had interviewed Harry Nilsson and Del Shannon, and, and as uh, a, a, a person on the editorial staff of the Daily News, and who had been the headline writer at New York Post when uh, Donald married Melania, and I wrote the headline, Lady is a Trump. <laughs> well, when I met Father Canavan, Thank you. I had recently uh, written my, f my first book on chastity with a typical kind of New York Post headline title, The Thrill of the Chaste, Finding Fulfillment While Keeping Your Clothes On. And, and Father Canavan, when he read this book, he told me something that no one had said to me before. He said, this is a recovery manual. And he said that for himself, as a chaplain to the Calix Society, which is a society of, of recovering alcoholics who take part in AA and are Catholic and seek Catholic fellowship, well, he said that as a chaplain to the Calix Society, he saw what I was doing as being like what he was doing. And moreover, when I began studying towards a master's in theology simply for the desire to have a steadier job than working in the newspaper industry, which was not that steady by the time I started for my ma in my master's uh, program in 2008, it was Father Canavan who said, no, you can't stop at a master's. You can't just go into campus ministry. You have to get a doctorate and, and teach Catholic theology at a Catholic college because there are too many people with doctorates at Catholic colleges who don't teach Catholic theology. <laughs> and so it was his inspiration th that led me to do this. And so I am very proud to have edited this book, which is in your bags. Each of you will be coming home with this new collection, which I edited of all of Father Canavan's columns. Father Canavan died in 2009, and it's been my dream of compiling and editing his columns for Catholic Eye. Um, and uh, I was going to read a section of it, but rather than, rather than delay uh, the, uh, the uh, speech by Carly Fiorina, I just want to tell you that don't be, don't be afraid to read this because it's so large, because it's made up of columns that are three pages a piece. So this is pro-life bathroom reading. You can keep it in the loo, and then when your friends come who may or may not be pro-life, by the time they're out of the bathroom, they may have a different idea. Thank you. Thank, thank you. So, so I want to thank um, everyone at Human Life Review, particularly Anne Conlon, who helped to make this uh, collection possible. Uh, and you can purchase this online uh, from En Route Books, E-N-R-O-U-T-E books.com. And you can also get it from, uh, from Amazon as well, and it is on Kindle. Thank you all so much, and God bless you. Well, thank you, Larry, so much for that um, stirring set of remarks. And Maria, thank you so much for including us. And my gosh, it's a family affair here. Your wonderful children and your great leadership. And Reverend, thank you for your very generous invocation as well. And Dawn, what a character you are. I love you. Gosh, I love you.